you may have to hold your breath or cover your nose with a handkerchief on arrival because the stain that greets you here is terrible. Chogates and Field is what characterizes one of the biggest vehicle stations in Accra, what is called the Tama Station. Interestingly, the place holds a health facility which is close to the drainage system in the area. It's 2020 and Ghanaians are still hopeful that President Akufado's promise of making Accra the cleanest city in Africa can be realized. We at Ghana Web are here to speak to drivers, passengers and traders to find out if the president's dreams can be realized. Uh, the best thing I say, now when I and me and so and so mu kata so dia eh fine ta ha ha se tana nya kra gata ne mu bom pa 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 ye ni bebi aye ko nti no na ma ye wo aha ye de ton ade but yes the government ne se o me hwe na wo si si ha ma ye ne ya ye ti ha ne ye bere pa ye ya ye ton pa bo ane de in fact eh ni efi ye mo me to me get that me po bi mo pra ne ye tu ya ne ka wo a wo da ha ti ti kwa ayo fo no wo excuse me to say wo cop private go ye ye twa na won tumi so mfa nsiesie kro ne maye 
Inside the thermal station is a health clinic which operates from a structure near the drainage system. A health facility that takes care of drivers, passengers and traders who fall ill while using the premises. A health personnel at the clinic revealed how worrisome sanitation at the station affects the clinic and how they've tried to solve the issue with the help of authorities. The diarrhea and vomiting cases we have around, because we do not conduct any research, we can't really say it's from the gutter. But then, any insanitary condition comes with those conditions. So it could be linked to it. And the assembly man is trying. Two weeks ago, he started desilting the gutters. So I think there is some improvement. We are liaising with him to see that the gutters are covered. At least it will reduce the stench. The flies just come out of the gutter. They settle on the same food that has already been cooked. So whatever you are taking, you don't even know what is in there. The flies might have been on somebody's feces or something. And that can bring about all those cholera and all those diarrheal diseases. But my advice would be, it's like the same thing that everybody is saying, good hygiene. It goes back to the individual. If we can be trained, probably from a primary, wherever, so that we can't part of us, you don't need anybody. It's an instinct. It comes naturally that I don't have to litter around. And it goes like that. I think from that, maybe we'll have a better generation. It looks like now the people are... Should I say they are dogmatic? They don't just don't want to change. They are stuck to their old ways. So maybe the new generation, or we can maybe if you put some punitive measures, they will change. The environment is not all that conducive. That is the fact. So what are some of the things you handle? Um, is it patients who who are like passengers? It's some, and some they sell within the station, so it's like they are always here. So this is where they come to. Oh, okay. Yes. Some, even if they are injured at home, they are comfortable coming here. Some commuters who also expressed worry about the situation had these solutions to suggest. So this is a place, a station. It was built for, I mean, the drivers and then the people who use this place. So it's up to them to keep the place neat. If the place is bad, you can't blame the ministers for keeping the place bad. The authorities of the station have the responsibility to ensure that this place is well kept clean. If they don't do their work, the sanitation operators, if the station masters, if the drivers themselves don't keep this place clean, it will not, no matter what the government will do. Say, I'm born. I'm a Mumbai. See, oh, temple, on to me. I'm born too much. Pure time, I will over back. It's a day on my penny. I'm on boy. I tell me, man, no, it's a young boy. Yeah, Sudan. That's you. That did not come up by him, mommy. In fact, my boy, a coyam. I know born too much. Oh, yeah, pa. In penny for a child now, I'm on boy. I'm a Sudan. I said, yeah, me, yeah, there. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okita Robita, I said, yo, Okita Baga, Fasem, oh, that's Junior, oh, that's him, and ya, oh, the bell go, baby, cake, I said, yeah, and keep it ganaki, me poor meaning, I'm crown, not penny, two rubber, and catch him, or more yam. See, I then, me, boy, there, and boy, then I meet you, ma, and yet, I dare make, I said, yeah, make, make, catch you. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay. So those were the views of some Ghanaians. We'll be speaking to authorities subsequently to find out solutions to this. Until then, let's keep Ghana clean. My name is Joseph Adamafiu, reporting for Ghana Web. <laughs>